Congratulations on the purchase of your XH 7.4 Expedition Hauler. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up in its most basic camping form. The first thing you want to do is find a good level spot to set it up, get it set up even from front to back, and put the stabiliser legs down. I've got three down, I'll show you how to do the last one. When putting the stabiliser legs down, first thing you want to do is grab the speed brace out of the camper. To lower the stabiliser leg, grab the handle at the hinge, pull it out and lower the leg down. Once it's down, make sure that the handle pops back in and engages securely. Now we can put the speed brace on, wind the leg down. Wind it down firmly. Whatever you do, don't try and lift the full weight of the camper with the stabiliser legs. They're not designed to do that. They've got small bevel gears and shear pins in them. You'll only break them. If you need to level the camper from left to right, use step ramps or something similar. Get it right, then put your stabiliser legs down. The next step in setting up the camper is undoing the over centre latches that hold the lid down. Undo those. There are six in total two either side and two at the back. Undo all six and then we can start opening it up. To open up the camper using the electric open, you need to switch on the main 12 volt isolation switch up in the back of this box. Then turn on the isolation switch for the mechanism. Now we can engage the rocker switch and open it up. Now that the camper is flipped over, we can grab our key and open up the main door. Setting up the steps is easy. Pull them out, get them into a full extension, then lower them down, all ready to go. Now we just grab our four internal spreaders and two small upright poles that go at the end of the bed and we can start setting up the tent. Once you jump in the camper, raise the bow poles to their full extent without stretching the canvas. Starting with the center bow pole, raise it up, then slide out the forward facing bow pole. Then you can raise the rear bow pole, which is on a gas strut to assist in keeping it up. Insert the spreader bars and the small upright poles at the end of the bed. Then adjust the poles so the canvas is taut but not tight. And the zipper for the door is sitting in a vertical position. To adjust the zipper forward or back and change the aspect of the tent, use the main front bow pole as your fixed point. Something important, particularly if it's the first time you're setting up the camper, is back off the tropical roof straps, leave them a bit loose. Then, to make all your final adjustments on the main tent, jump in, zip up all the doors and windows, make sure everything's buttoned down where it should be. Then do your final adjustments, get the internal tent spot on with everything zipped up. That way, when you're ready to go, all the zippers will operate properly. There won't be any weird pulling or stresses on them. Then adjust your tropical roof. When you do adjust your tropical roof to get it taut, make sure you're not adjusting it that tight where it starts to concertina or bring in the main tent underneath, because that'll cause luffs in the canvas, sections that sit low and water can pull on it. You want the internal tent to be taut and the tropical roof to be sitting on top of it just tight enough so the water will run off and keep the sun off your main tent. Before firing up the Truma hot water system, you need to come out to the side of the trailer and remove the cover on the flue. To do that, put your thumbs in the center, hook your fingers over the lip at the top and peel it back. It's now out of the way. You can go in, turn your gas on and start the system at the control point inside the camper. 
There you go, folks. That's how you do the basic tent setup on the XH 7.4 Expedition Hauler. For more information, head across to marketdirect.com.au and check out our other YouTube videos, the handover videos, other setup videos, and of course, the pack down video.